In this video, I'll be showing you how I created a cable pass-through panel to route my Starlink Ethernet cable through my home office sliding windows. Let's get into it. How's it everyone? KC808 here. One of the challenges after obtaining my Starlink system was routing the Ethernet cable from inside of my house to the outside antenna without drilling through the walls and damaging my rented home. I decided to DIY a window panel that fits securely within my window frame and allows any cables to pass through. All the tools and materials I will be using are provided in the video's description. The first step is to measure the window's dimensions and the window tracks so we know what size panel board to use and can fit properly within the window space. The height of this window is about 46 inches tall, and the window space is about 1 inch in depth. Next, we'll take note of the window tracks within this frame. I've placed blue masking tape as a reference to highlight the window tracks that I'll be measuring. The depth of the bottom track is about 3 quarters of an inch, the side track is about 1 quarter of an inch, and the top track is the same as the bottom at about 3 quarters of an inch. Your window tracks may vary, but this was the situation for mine. Next we'll get into cutting and routing of the panel board. I decided to use a PVC board for this window panel so it doesn't rot from water damage and I don't have to worry about painting over it. Luckily the color of the PVC board matches the color of my windows. I'm measuring the PVC board to cut to the height of the window, which is 46 inches. The height of the PVC board is 1 inch thick, so it'll fit perfectly within the window track space. To assist with cutting a straight line on the PVC board, I'm using another piece of wood as a guide and clamping it to the table. After the cut, I gently sand down the sharp and rough edges. Next, we'll be using a router tool to cut grooves along the narrow side of the PVC board to fit alongside the window tracks. I'm using a DIY router guide which I made from pieces of plywood to assist with precision cutting of the grooves along the middle of the board's narrow side, and to avoid the router tool from flying out of control and messing up my panel board. As you can see, I forgot to put on my safety glasses, as the next step will create a lot of PVC shavings and you don't want that getting in your eyes. I'll include a link in the description to my DIY router guide used for this application. After cutting the 3 quarter inch grooves along the top and bottom of the PVC board, I move on to cutting the quarter inch groove along the side of the PVC board in sections and rearrange my secured clamps as I make the cuts. Honestly, I'm quite surprised how clean the grooves turned out using this DIY router guide. Definitely worth the two hours I spent making it. Again, links in the description for that video. Next, we'll be drilling our pass-through hole for the Starlink Ethernet cable. I measure the center of the hole along the top section of the PVC board for the Starlink cable and drill a pilot hole before using a 1-inch wood boring drill bit to fit the cable grommet. I repeat the same procedure for the bottom section of the PVC board for a spare pass-through hole for other cable applications such as power extension cords for emergency generators or solar charging panels for a battery power station. After drilling the holes, I gently sand down the sharp edges. Next, I'm checking if the cable grommets fit snug within the drilled holes. We're almost there. The final application to the PVC board is applying weather strip tape along the side of the panel that will be touching the sliding window. The tape will provide a soft seal between the sliding window panel and the PVC board.
and we're finished creating our pass-through panel. We can finally install our newly crafted pass-through panel within the window track and it fits perfectly. Moving inside of the house, we'll be sliding our Starlink Ethernet cable through the provided pass-through hole to the outside world. Next, we can remove the protective lining along the weather strip tape. Next, we can install the grommet around the cable and insert the grommet into the panel hole. To ensure that rainwater doesn't flow directly into the pass-through hole and into the house, we can create a drip loop, which is simply routing the cable below the hole and back up, forming a U-shape. We can secure the cable in place using cable fasteners or cable clamps and simple wood screws. Lastly, we can apply a silicone sealant around the pass-through hole to prevent unwanted water and bugs from coming into the house. Since the sliding window is now offset due to the new pass-through panel, we can apply weather strip tape in the area where the joining windows would seal the gap. We can place a piece of masking tape in the location where the right window's rubber seal meets the left window. From there, we just swap the positions of the sliding windows to allow ease of movement, and apply the weather strip tape vertically along the left side of the window, and slide the windows back in their original positions. Now we have a new window seal to fill in the gap between the window panes and to keep the bugs out. And finally, we can use an adjustable curtain rod to secure the windows shut, since the locking lever is offset. We're secured, and that's a DIY mission complete.